Okay, Captain Eddie was talking about making pendants, so I make pendants here. Pull There's it back towards you. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So that 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 started out as a piece of this. So this is just uh -huh. a bottle copper blank, plastic. This is what I hold it on. So it's it's set to the diameter that I want with a piece of tape, double sided tape. And I made one for one size and one for another. This particular jig is made for this pendant here. Very this, nice. This pendant is interchangeable. So this is a metal back that you can buy at the jewelry supply places with a earthen magnet in the back. And then you can swap them out. The ladies really like right. them, so they can buy one necklace and just swap out the pendant. Nice. That is a cool right. idea. Nice idea. Put, any chance you can put uh, purchase details in chat? Yeah. I, I purchased the pendant parts at Hobby Lobby, because that's what I have around here. And the bulb, and I'll uh, put in where I get the, where I buy these from. Okay. Okay. The other, the, the jig itself, I made my own, so it, it goes in my truck either direction, and it sits square every time because of this. That's why this collar is on here. Right. It self centers itself, no matter which way you put it. Nice. And that's nice. made out of a piece of hard maple. Now that's a good tip and trick, right there, folks. Now see, now Scott, the center of that is dip, depressed or dimpled, correct? Correct. Because you don't need to hold the entire width. In fact, that can be detrimental to you. Right. Um, it actually should be concave just, just ever so slightly in the middle. Yeah. Makes all the difference where I'm coming and going. Um, yeah, the I, other thing I started doing is I put a little piece of metal in there and I glue my magnet in ahead of time. Because it's easier to drill that magnet in when it's square than when it's round. Right. Get it centered. Okay. Then the magnet also helps hold it with the, the double-sided tape. Yeah. Nice tip. And great. So, so uh, this one right now is, is an old piece of tape, but I can get this pendant to stick to it. Wow. Yeah. So there's just a just a small piece of metal rod behind that piece of tape. And that magnet's actually strong enough to hold it to turn it. Wow. Scott was just off pretty hard. And it don't take much to stick it on there. No. And Scott was talking about double stick tape. This is a product called Sure Tape. S-H-U-R-T-A-P-E. Um, and I believe they have their own website on the, uh, Sure Tape. I used to be able to get this at Lowe's. And you don't know about big box stores. They're going to go where it's easiest to get the best. All right. Um, but this is no longer sold at Lowe's. It's made double stick to put down carpet, etc. cetera. Um, I got the last rolls I, I need at Amazon. Why did I go to this rather than a paperback? This is like duct tape with the double stick on it. Mm -hmm. um, why did I go to this rather than that film tape? If you put this on that, that device that Scott was just now showing us, and you press that block on, uh, you better have a way to get it off. Uh, if you cut all the way down to that dimension, you better have a way to get it off because this holds so well, you're going to think you super glued it to that block. So when I do those blocks, I put a, a, this is not a butt, Scott, please take it this way. Um, oh, absolutely I put, not. I <laughs> put a groove across that I can slip something behind to help me pry it off. Mm. Uh, because I've had some pieces I've broken. You know, it just threw any move. But that, that type of glue block without glue is a really great turning aid when you're doing earrings, uh, pendants, um, Almost anything, and you see, uh, 
Oh, Bob Moffitt probably have a field day with this because I've textured bottle stoppers holding them on there because after I turned it, I realized it's kind of plain. Got to do something to it. And I took, I put it back on that block or on the block. And then I brought up my Swarby tool and did the spiraling. I wanted on the top of it. Held by tape. So, Scott, that was a great idea. And the way you put that shoulder on that, um, on the chair, do you have that still right there by you? Yep. Because some folks may miss what he's talking about. See, the, the high point, if you did that rig out of a one-inch dowel, and you're, you're my, my number one chuck would hold a one-inch dowel in a heartbeat. But how would you get it to always come back to true alignment? And see the shoulders he's got on that center band? Those shoulders bring it back into alignment. And so you slip it in, tighten it up, and it's back to original reference marks, um, which, is, which is really handy when you're turning. Uh, why have to reinvent the wheel every single time you move it? Beautiful work, Scott. Thank you for sharing that with us tonight.